Soniku. Alright, good luck, man. Stop him in his tracks. Alright, guys. Welcome to the Anti-Sonic Guide. On the spot, here we go. So, Sonic is a character that can dash at you in two ways. He can dash at you with his regular dash or his spin dash. Now, being that spin dash is very good and has a lot of priority, you don't want to challenge it. You either shield it or you jump over it. Now, in Ness's case, I have PK Fire, so if he spin dashes at me, I can stop him with a solid PK Fire. Some characters can actually knock Sonic out of his spin dash with their nair, such as Fox. A fastfall nair from above will hit Sonic out of his spin dash, and I'll stop him if he tries to jump with the spin dash. So, respect spin dash if your character does not have the options to beat it out because the move does have a lot of priority and does a ton of percent. If I were to get hit by his spin dash approaching me, I would take like 35 if he jumps and nares too. It's, it's ridiculous. You don't want to get hit by that. Now, Sonic is a character that can pressure you extremely easy due to the fact that he is the fastest character in the entire game. So, it makes it's, it's not a problem for him to get in your face and it's a hard for him to get caught. And that's what also makes him very good. He's able to not only camp you, but he's able to catch you. So if you're at kill percent, getting away from Sonic is not going to be the easiest thing. And now, in this game, Sonic has... He can kill. He can kill with back throw. In some cases, sometimes I feel like it's better than Ness's back throw. He can... Uh, his F smash is extremely hard to punish even if you shield it. It's very fast. It's like a bullet. So respect it. Literally, if you do not play a fast character, do not try to run in and punish him. Let him F smash, or either you shield the F smash. That's it. You have to catch Sonic in the instances where he's getting predictable with his approaches, or when he's using moves that are laggy, such as his spring, and then they try to fall to the ground. They'll always try to fall and back you, or try to mix it up. So you have to read your opponent to see which way they go. Um, hopefully he stays Sonic so he can keep going. Offstage, Sonic is semi-vulnerable because if he's forced into using his up B, you can land a stage spike on him or get free punishments. Because remember, the, his up B, Sonic himself, is not a hitbox, only his spring. So when he's up b if I'm Captain Falcon, if I'm even Ness, I'm back airing him into the stage out of his up B. It takes strict timing, but you can do it. You can do it. Practice makes perfect. Now, other another thing that Sonic can do out of his up B on stage is he can up B straight up and then down air. That can be punished also. So look out for that as well. Um, when Sonic, when Sonic is linear, in my opinion, in a sense, because he's either running at you or spin dashing at you. He's a hit and run kind of character. And so what do you do to hit and run? You don't let him apply as much damage by shielding and respecting his moves. Now, if he sees that you're shielding a lot. He can't grab you out of a spin dash, so he's going to run at you. And this is where you take advantage of that. Because when he's running at you, he's not using his high priority spin dash to try to make you... Oh god. To try to force you into not doing certain things or to take damage. Unnecessary damage. Oh man, this man is playing with items. No! Justo, we don't play with items here. This is the Salty Splatoon. As you can see, he tried to side B into me and instantly PK Fire lights him on fire. That's going to make him not want to use that move. So, uh, 6WX would likely start just running at me, trying to grab me, trying to dash attack me, trying to mix me up. So, you have to learn your opponent's habits. Sonic doesn't have that many approaches. It's side B or he's dashing at you. Down B as well. Just watch out for the spin dashes and watch out for his dashes. You have to really be able to react to him because he's very fast. One mistimed thing could lead to something ex that you do not want. Um, his grab game isn't that scary aside from his back throw killing you at the ledge. Don't be a fool like me at Apex on the big stage and <laughs> running to your Sonic while you're at kill percent, risking you whipping a move or hitting his shield and he back throws you and you die. A rage back throw, just like Ness can do. Now, um... F throw is something to not really worry about too much because it only kills at tremendously high percents where you should die anyway from like almost anything. And down throw is whatever. Up throw sets you up for getting juggled, but Sonic is really only going to juggle you with up air, which can be avoided. Off stage, respect Sonic in some way, shape, or form because he can actually come off and edge guard you, especially with his spring. So a character like Ness, 
can actually get beaten hard off stage by Sonic. Because if I try to up B from around this range and he hits me with the spring, it'll cut my up B short because I impacted the spring and that will kill me. Now, a lot of characters don't have to deal with that sort of thing, but Ness means please keep that in mind because that is something apparent in the matchup. Like right there, that back throw, I was in the middle of the stage, I got nothing to worry about but that spring. Now, if I messed up and that spring hit me off the stage, he could have continued to edge guard me, and I, that would have been a problem, because Sonic's back air is semi-strong, so you want to also respect that. But look, you can punish his aerials. If he whiffs an aerial, punish him. Literally, you can hit him, because they do have lag. Think about it, back air. That kick has lag at the end of it. Fair has lag at the end of it when you avoid all the hits. Not too much, but it has some. Up air has some sort of lag. Down air, if he doesn't space it correctly, he's planted into the ground. You want to take advantage of that. So, in my opinion, the way I like to fight Sonic is, I fight him how he fights me. He wants to hit and run, I'm going to do just that. And I'm going to force him to approach me, because when Sonics get the lead, they don't like to approach. They make you approach them, and you're likely going to run in, and you're going to shield. Because you don't want to get hit. So yeah, you see Sonic uh, charging his spin dash, <laughs> you're going to run in, and you're going to be like, oh wait, he's charging his spin dash, let me shield it because I don't know what else to do. Wrong. That's what they're looking for. Especially if he's holding side B, charging it, he can then shield to cancel it and come up and run up and grab you. You have to keep these things in mind. Yo, Ryu, they don't matter, man. <laughs> Uh, trying to think of a few other things. Good games, just though. Yeah, Ed Garten, what's your friend code? Friend code. Nintendo Network ID. Now, the, let's see. Anything else about Sonic? Uh, when he's charging his neutral B, if you shield it, some characters are able to punish him for uh, having neutral B hit uh, your shield, such as Fox. So if he neutral Bs my shield, I like to jump out of shield and fair him or up air him. Punish him hard, please. Uh, when Sonic whips a grab, take advantage of that as well because he has that little stumbling animation where he falls over like that. That can lead to damage. Sonic is um, a character that is, you can combo pretty decently. So applying damage when you get in on Sonic is not too much of a hassle, especially as Fox, which is my go-to in the matchup. Uh, guys, I'm going to play Edgard and since he donated or and is donating like a lot. <laughs> And yeah, guys, that is going to be my impromptu Sonic guide. Anti-Sonic guide. Hopefully this does help you quite a bit, and I'll be sure to put this on my channel after the stream. Alright. Let me add this dude. Walking disease. Alright, interesting name. Yeah, hopefully that helped you guys.